Right now we are over in the West Loop and we are heading to Green Street Meats. It's summer, that means it's time for barbecue and this is one of Adam's favorite spots. So let's go see what they're serving up. So this is when I'm at my happiest. A whole barbecue feast beneath me and it looks incredible. This place always delivers. Got some burn-ins this time. Look at that. Just going for it. No need for utensils. Those are as good as you're gonna get anywhere in the country. And I think this place keeps getting better. Every time I come, I'm like, wow, they've gotten better at smoking their meats. They're already good and they're just taking it to the next level. So let's talk about some of the stuff we got here. We got the brisket, we got it sliced. It looks amazing. Um, the burn ends are on top of the brisket, as I mentioned before. We got some pork ribs, perfectly smoked, nice smoke ring on them. We got them, uh, they don't have mac and cheese, they have macaroni salad, which happens to be one of Adeline's favorite items to get at a grocery store, so we got some of that. They don't skip on the portions. And another thing we got were loats, and I love loats whenever I go to a restaurant that has them, so we're ready to dig into this feast. Adam was talking about the smoke ring. He's the expert, not me. But I just think it tastes good. Time for the crown jewel, the brisket. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. A little house barbecue on there. Look at that. Awesome, awesome bark. Good smoke ring. I mean, seriously, outside of Texas, it's hard to find brisket that good. Green Street Meats always delivers great smoked meats, wonderful brisket, awesome ribs. It's hard not to eat here every day. So, the next stop on our Chicago barbecue tour is Smoke. It really exploded onto the scene back when Guy Fieri came here a long time ago for Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And quite frankly, there's been a line out the door every day since. So right now on their patio, you get brought your barbecue in a basket. I have never had barbecue from a basket before. We got a lot of food here from Smoke. We got a half rack of ribs, the baby back style. We also got their chopped brisket. I absolutely love their chopped brisket. They do as good a job as anyone outside of Texas. And so whenever I come here, we get the chopped brisket and we get the ribs. I'm actually a certified barbecue judge, which doesn't really mean that much, but I try a lot of barbecue in a lot of different places. I absolutely love their sauces. Their Carolina style is vinegar based. And it's really good on pulled pork. They have a spicy sauce, which I love on the ribs, and they have a Memphis style, and that Memphis style tastes really, really good on the brisket. So I love getting all their sauces, saucing up the meat, and like I said, they do their sauces here as well as anywhere else in the country. All right, so we're gonna dive into a rib here. Putting that spicy sauce on there. Look at that, look at that. You can see the smoke on those ribs. Mmm. Good heat from the sauce and really nice pullback. Look at that. You want to see where you bit into the rib. You want it to pull away easy, but you don't want it to fall off. And this is really good because the rub's tasty and whew, it's got a kick. Mm. I am about to dig into this brisket. We'll put a little of the Memphis sauce on here. Mm. I love that bark on here. This is one of our absolute favorite barbecue spots in the city, and they just know what they're doing. I love chopped brisket. I don't like it like sliced. I love it chopped just like this. I'm not a barbecue judge. I just like to eat it. 
Ooh, that's a good bite. Look at that. That's dumb good. <laughs> All right. We have a little individual mac and cheese. It is, it is hot. It's got a crispy topping. Ooh, I wanna make sure I get some of that good stuff in there. Oh man. Mm. Not every barbecue place nails the sides like they do here at Smoke. And mac and cheese can be one of those things that is hit or miss pretty much anywhere. And so to be able to nail it like they have here is uh, it's a pretty impressive feat, along with everything else they do. I just can't say enough good things about this place. I love the way they do their baked beans here because they load it up with extra meat. You can see big chunks in there. Mm. There's a lot of flavor in there in the beans and then mixed in with extra meat. Gotta love baked beans. Mm. It's like a summer staple. We just finished up our delicious barbecue at Smoke. We always say that it's our goal to find the best barbecue in every city we visit. And right now our goal is to find the best barbecue in Chicago. And Smoke is way up there. Today we are heading over to Smoke Daddy. It's a super popular barbecue spot here in Chicago. They have a dog friendly patio. So we've got our pup Howie with us and we're hungry. Always love eating at Smoke Daddy. So today we ordered the Smoke Daddy platter. We're getting some ribs, St. Louis style, burnt ends and pulled pork. And Madeline was like, hey, I want some mac and cheese. So we're getting a side of mac and cheese. And some of our barbecue continues, a little burnt ends. You don't know what the burnt end is. It's the end of the brisket. It tends to get burnt, but it collects a lot of fat as the meat melts. It's a really good cut of meat when done right. Mm. They're good burnt ends here. All right, burnt ends are delicious. I'm going in on this pulled pork here. That is so good. And the sauces here are amazing. Clean off the bone. Be able to like see that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. So creamy. Incredible flavor. Mm. That's really good. All right, Howie. That's a good boy. Did you like that? Was that good, Howie? Yeah? We just finished up at Smoke Daddy. I loved it, Adam loved it, and especially Howie loved it. If you're in the Wicker Park area and you want some barbecue, head over to Smoke Daddy. Our Chicago Barbecue Food Tour continues. We're here at County Barbecue in Little Italy in Chicago and their menu looks fantastic. It's actually kind of cool because they've got some things I don't see very often on barbecue menus, including smoked salmon and smoked pastrami. So our order today consists of pulled pork, brisket, those are the staples. We also got some rib tips, which are huge in Illinois, and honestly, they should be the state barbecue of Illinois because they're that popular and they're that good. And then they've got a couple interesting menu items here, including smoked salmon and smoked pastrami. 
And so we opted for the smoked pastrami today. I guess we weren't really feeling like being healthy with some smoked salmon. So pastrami looks incredible. And by the way, I always say this in barbecue videos, I wish you could smell it because it smells unreal. And if you want to know whether or not your barbecue spot's going to be any good, you can smell it while you're walking up the street. That's always a good sign. Our side today are these pork puppies, which is a hush puppy, but it has cheese and pork inside. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce here that it came with. Like a mayo. Oh, oh it's very good. Look in here, you can see the pork and cheese all mixed together. Pull it apart. They're nice and crispy on the inside. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Uh, very good. Really good flavor on that. Like I said, nice and crunchy. And then the middle is just soft and full of deliciousness. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of pulled pork here. You can see the, the smoke on that. Topped with a little barbecue sauce. Mm. It's got a good rub on it. And uh, really good barbecue sauce. It's pretty good pulled pork right there. Sometimes pulled pork is better eaten alone. I actually think this pulled pork would be amazing on a sandwich. So next time. Okay, pulled pork. We have a mix of their hot sauce and their regular barbecue sauce on here. Mm, it's really good. It's really, really just melts in your mouth. Ooh. And it's steaming hot. It's very good flavor, just on its own, with no sauce on it at all. I am very, very excited for this pastrami. Got some bark, nice bark on there. Very pink color. Wow. That is very good. I'd love this piled high on a sandwich. But it is absolutely delicious just on its own. You want to dip it in the mustard barbecue sauce? I love mustard barbecue sauce. I think it would just go really well with this. Yeah. That was a good choice. That is one of my new favorite things. All right, well, Madeline has totally sold me on this pastrami. I'm going mustard. Oh, yeah. That's what you want. Some pastrami, like, smoke. You, you can get their meats by the pound. You come get some of that. Get some corned beef. Make a Reuben, like with pastrami and corned beef. It's gonna be the best sandwich you ever had in your entire life. All right. Here we have perhaps my favorite barbecue rib tips. These look really, really good. They got, oops, they got great bark on them. I'm just going with this piece right here. Do a little dunk. The thing about rib tips is. I like them just covered in sauce. I pick up that smoke flavor. The sauce is really good. Official barbecue Illinois rib tips. I'm starting the campaign right now. Okay, I'm going in on the sliced brisket here. <laughs> Again, beautiful bark on this as well. Mm -hmm. Really good smoky flavor. And um, it just pulls apart. A lot of sometimes when you get sliced brisket, it just like kind of folds together. That's not what you want. This just pulling apart, ready to go. Wow, everything we've had here has just been fantastic. 
So good brisket can be hard to find outside Texas. There's some spots in Chicago that do it well. I'm hoping County Barbecue joins the list. Mm, I like, I really like the bark. That's what you get. But Madeline said it pulls apart really well. And uh, they have good barbecue sauces too. I'm actually gonna go mustard on the brisket. Kind of weird barbecue. Horrible how we've fallen into. Chicago brisket with mustard on it. Oh, that was a good bite. Another great spot here in Chicago for barbecue. Love County Barbecue. All the meats we had were terrific. And I think we're going to come back next time and try everything else. We are about to grab some lunch at Limbs. At Limbs, they're really known for their rib tips and for their hot links. It is run by the Lemons family. Started by two brothers and it now is continued as a family owned business. We got the JBL special. It is ribs, rib tips, hot links, and two wings on top. And I have to tell you, it looks incredible. One of these rib tips. Look at that. Mm. Mm. I love rib tips. They're actually most common from what I've seen here in Illinois. I think they're the most underrated item on a barbecue menu. And I'm glad a lot of places in Illinois do it. All right, we're gonna do a wing here. Mm. Got their barbecue sauce on it. Really crunchy. I like it. I like the sampler. I'm going in on the hot link. This is one of their specialties. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So much flavor. Absolutely delicious. Wow. I love that. The last item we're going to dig into is their rib. Now, the thing about Glims is they don't have a dining room inside, and outside they kind of have this ledge, but it's not really built for dining. So we're gonna take the rest to go, but we wanna try the actual barbecue, hot and fresh while we're here. So here we go, look at this rib. This thing is thick. Mm. Mm. You can see the smoke on it. Mm. Okay. Not lacking for a flavor there. Come to limbs, get the sampler, enjoy great barbecue. Simple as that. If you want to see more of our Chicago food adventures, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.